Welcome back to the same old things that we left about. I don't know why I think I sound like him. And the dreams of me, they would turn around. There were dreams of me, they would turn around. Who they thought to lead ya? Who they thought to lead? back here when you need ya? I think I sound sweet because this um, microphone got all of this stuff on it. So let me show you what her vocals is right now. Of course, I cut in a low pass frequency, but but I boosted that. Uh, but you know, we ain't got to boost that here because uh, we're gonna do some other things. We're gonna add some 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 uh, um, elements and go, you know make her make her vocals stick out. You know, like really nice and clean, right? I just got the volume turned up right now, but but we're gonna use a different approach to get some clarity. So I'm gonna just take off these reverb right now, so we can really just kind of focus on strictly her vocals, and I'm um, show you some fun little things we're gonna do. First thing we're gonna do. Go to bed. Daddy, you should give me five on a drink. Tacos. It's funny because I listen to my daughter all my life, but on here she sounds like she's from a country, like Virginia or Pennsylvania, like a, a rural. She got a, like a country accent. I never heard that before. Do I sound like a little? I'm a little country sometime every now and again. I be trying to sound like a player and a pimp, and then sometimes just come out sound like real country. <laughs> uh, I hope I ain't offend none of my friends because I love all languages. All slang, you know, my New Yorkers and, um, well, my Californians, you know, they use the word, uh, you know, the N word and B a whole lot. So I ain't going to do all that, but, uh, you know what I mean? And then, then when you talk like that, <laughs> I don't know, man. But anywho, the language is a little different now, but um, my daughter signed the country and I thought that was uh, interesting. Okay, so check this out. Let's listen. But that's what people eat when they drunk. Daddy, you should give me five on a drink. Okay, so it's really noisy, obviously. And my uh, mouth tastes like tacos. We was obviously drunk. But that's when we what did people eat when they drunk. I mean, obviously drunk. You know what I'm saying? Daddy, you should give me five on a drink. All right, so let's go in here first. Let's put the NS1 my on My mouth there. tastes like tacos. Boom, boom. But that's what people eat when they drunk. Hear me in the background. Daddy, you should give me five on a drink. All coaching her to be bad. I'm a bad dad. Bad My grandpa. My mouth tastes like tacos. Hear that? But that's what people eat when they drunk. Now, typically... Daddy, you should give me five on a drink. I really don't like to use noise suppressors because... Um, My mouth tastes like tacos. It changed it. it, it changed but that's what the, people eat when they drunk. Some of the frequency of the of the vocals here. Um, but, um, what I normally like to do is just really go in there, really, really hone in there and then just, um, and, and really just kind of just turn down the air. I don't like to use the noise suppressor. Actually in real, real life, I like to record low enough where there's minimum background noise as, as something like this. So whatever that hum you hear, that can like easily get removed. I really, I barely like to, um, barely like to move this. If I have to move, actually, you're really supposed to just cut this on and it cuts the noise. Um, if you move it up 10, you know, that's, that's cool. You, you good. But once you start moving it up here, you start, you start eating into the, uh, the frequency, frequency of the vocals. You know what I mean? So then, then now you're changing the tonality of the vocals, and now the vocals is not sounding natural. The microphone not sounding natural. It's sounding, you know what I mean, pickled. So anyway, uh, we got that. That was the best I could do there. Daddy, you should give me five on a drink. And, um... My mouth tastes like tacos. But that's what people eat when they drunk. <laughs> Daddy, you should give me five on a drink. She's a goofball. All right, me and my goofball daughter. My All mouth right. tastes like tacos. Poor tech. But that's what people eat when they drunk. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Daddy, you should give me five on a drink. Put poor tech on there. And put my a My nice mouth little... tastes like tacos. Now, really... But that's what people eat when they drunk. Here, let's do this. Before we do that... Daddy, you should give me five on a drink. Okay, if I hear her annoying voice one more time. um, Let's see here. Soft tube... 
And uh, this is a really cool, smooth, very smooth compression for vocals. So after we get that happening, and uh, what I'm gonna do is, let's see, because I don't wanna keep hearing the same loop. I can sit and listen to the same loop over and over and over again, but I don't wanna put nobody else through that torture and pain. So we'll put it down here so we can hear something a little little different dialogue. And uh, I'll try to put this thing on, the, put the mix on there. So uh, what we wanna do is try to capture the industry sound by finding the sweet spot so we're gonna kind of play around with it a little bit you're gonna have to just bear with me listen to her vocals a little bit but this kind of just show you how to tweak and find the sweet spot we want we what we're trying to do is find it we're trying to find the the thing that makes the compre the compressor you want the compressor to sound transparent as far as it working but you still want the tonality um, from the compressor on the vocals and you can't just cut it on sometimes you can just cut it on but but I'm gonna show you what, how, what I'm talking about when I say um, finding the sweet spot so we're gonna attempt to find the sweet spot check it out I have five shots of Hennessy I need about five more <laughs> so this is a good way to do it <laughs> okay so five more <laughs> Daddy, you should give me five on a drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. I need about five more. <laughs> Daddy, you should give me five on a drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. I need about five more. <laughs> so we want. That's Daddy, another... you should give me five on a drink. That's another mistake that I made on here. But but again, we was just vibing. We were freestyling. We was live. But uh, typically, I would never, ever have the music that loud in the headphones because it bleeds and it, it disturbs, you know, how the vocals is mixed. But anyway, um, you know, that's the error. Just make sure that you, you know, record it low enough so that you won't get no headphone bleed or bl or buy you some headphones that don't bleed. I have five shots of Hennessy. I need about five more. Okay. <laughs> Daddy, you should give me five on a drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. Okay, so. I need about five more. <laughs> Daddy, you should give me five on a drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. I need about five more. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to listen to it in kind Daddy, you should give off. me five on a drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. So we see how loud it is. Here. I need about five more. <laughs> And uh, let's take it off. Make sure that Daddy, the levels are Daddy, you should give me smacking. five on a drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. I need about five more. <laughs> okay, let's listen to the music, the vocals in context of the music to make sure that the levels stay as is. I have five shots of Hennessy. I need about five more. <laughs> Daddy, you should give me five on a drink. I have five shots. So you see when we put the compression on it, we drop the levels. <laughs> so let's see what the levels were before. Daddy, you should give me five on a drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. I need about five more. <laughs> Daddy, you should give me five on a drink. I have five okay, shots so of Hennessy. We bought it 20. I need about five more. <laughs> So we compensate. Daddy, you should give me five on a drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. I need about five more. Okay. <laughs> Daddy, you should give me five on a drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. Okay, that's good. So I need now, about five more. Now I'm looking to get the sweet <laughs> spot here. Daddy, you should give me five on a drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. I need about five more. <laughs> Notice what happens when I speed it up. Daddy, you should give me five on a drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. Do you hear the compressor kind of clamping five in? <laughs> it's like clamping in fast. Back that up. Daddy, you should give me five on a drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. It sounds like I need about five more. It sounds like the sweet spot <laughs> might be uh, okay. around here. Daddy, you should give me five on a drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. I need about five more. <laughs> okay, um Daddy, you should give me five on a drink. I, I have this, five shots of Hennessy. 
It's a few errors. I, I, I need about five more. It's a few things I hear <laughs> that, that I do not like. Daddy, she could be five on a drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. I'm going to put the tape on her book. I need about five more. To warm it up. <laughs> Daddy, she can be five on a drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. I need about five more. <laughs> Daddy, she can be five on a drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. I need about five more. <laughs> Daddy, she can be five on a drink. I okay, so I, I'm, I, I would probably have to spend more time on it, but I'm, I'm actually hearing the the tube uh, sound in, in there that that's just me um you, you might not hear it you know some other people may not hear it um but i do hear the compression i do hear it you know what i mean uh it's apparent um but i'm also getting like the the sound of that uh tube in there too you know where it sound like the tube is working you know what i mean five shots of Hennessy. i need about five more <laughs> so that coupled with this is really going to uh really make the vocals uh, sparkle so um so let's just follow me through daddy she can be five on a drink i have five shots of Hennessy. i need about five more <laughs> daddy she can be five on a drink i have five shots of Hennessy. i need about five more <laughs> let's work with the mids first Daddy, she can be five on a drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. I need about five more. <laughs> Daddy, she can be five on a drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. I need about five more. <laughs> Daddy, she can be five on a drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. I need about five more. <laughs> Daddy, she can be five on a drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. I need so, about five more. So I'm looking to get like her <laughs> vocals like with a lot of clarity. Daddy, she can be five on a drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. I need about five more. <laughs> Daddy, she can be five on a drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. I need about five more. <laughs> Daddy, she can be five on a drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. I need about five more. <laughs> Daddy, she can be five on a drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. I need about five more. <laughs> Daddy, she can be five on a drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. I need about five more. <laughs> Daddy, she can be five on a drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. I need about five more. <laughs> okay, um, that's cool. Um, I want to put um, I want to put an, uh, something, another sparkling sound on her, but um, um, she's, I'm hearing that she's quick, quickly needing a deesser now, so uh. Maybe I'll put the DSR on first because um, I do want her vocal to be sparkly and shiny, but not fatiguing. And um, if you don't put the DSR on it, it, it will for sure fatigue. So let's see what we can um, pull out of this this one here. Daddy, she can be five on a drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. I need about five more. <laughs> Daddy, she can be five on a drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. I need about five more. <laughs> Daddy, she can be five on a drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. I need about five more. <laughs> Daddy, she can be five on a drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. I need about five more. <laughs> Daddy, she can be five on a drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. I need about five more. <laughs> Daddy, she can be five on a drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. I need about five more. 
<laughs> Betty, you should give me five on a drink. I had five shots of Hennessy. I need about five more. <laughs> Betty, you should give me five on a drink. I had five shots of Hennessy. I need about five more. <laughs> Betty, you should give me five on a drink. I had five shots of Hennessy. I need about five more. <laughs> Betty, you should give me five on a drink. I had five shots of Hennessy. I need about five more. <laughs> Betty, you should give me five on a drink. I had five shots of Hennessy. Betty, you should give me five on a drink. No. Okay. No. Um, let me see if I can. Daddy, you should give me five on a giant. No. Uh, I would like to put no. an exciter on her voice. on a giant. I need 
Daddy, you should give me five on a drink. Daddy, you should give me five on a drink. Okay, let me make sure that the tacos, levels stay at 20. But that's what people eat when they drunk. I need about five more. <laughs> Daddy, you should give me five on a drink. Daddy, you should give me five on a drink. Okay, fam, I think that's um. My mouth tastes like tacos. I think that's it. But that's what people eat when they drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. I need about five more. <laughs> Daddy, you should give me five on a drink. Daddy, you should give me five on a drink. Okay, I think um, I think we kind of good there. You know what I mean? Let's play it from the top, and um, as you can hear, you know, and the way, and really, honestly, like the way I'm mixing it right now is almost as if everything. I'm mixing it like through a master. You know what I mean? Like. I'm not mixing it with mastering in mind. I'm mixing it through the master. You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of things that's kind of hot and things like that. Now I'm not encourage I'm not encouraging you to do that. But this is something that I do every now and again. You know, I'll create it, make it mastered, and then I'll um then I'll mix it, you know, under the master. So that um, you know, that's just my approach though. Everybody don't do it like that. You know, that's just that's just one of my approaches. Five on a drink. No. No. Give me five on a drink. No. No. Daddy, you should give me five on a drink. No. No. five on a drink. My mouth tastes like tacos, but that's what people eat when they drink. I have five shots of Hennessy. I need about five more. <laughs> okay, so one thing I haven't done yet was um put um put some type of leveling on my vocals because it's kind of buried in the back. Um, I did don't really want it to be a big I, a big deal actually, so I'm just gonna put something simple on it, like maybe a, a stock, just to bring it up and then then start taming it. No. So we've been mixing this for a little while, 
maybe close to two hours. I definitely didn't mean to go that long, but you know, it is what it is, and that's that, that's what it takes uh, some time. Actually, you can it could take days to mix, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but I, what I wanted to do, the main thing, what I wanted to do was kind of, and I wish I could just erase everything. I actually, I encourage you to go back to the beginning of the uh, original tutorial, or should I say, the beginning of this tutorial, and listen to the listen to it before this. Uh, actually, you know, I, okay, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna have to mix this down and play them side by side, and you can see the stark difference. Like right now, we've been listening to it and building it, so you really can't hear the stark difference because your ears probably more, you know, immune or you know, habitually remembering how it's sounding now because we've been listening to it over and over and over again at this level. But if you go back to the very first one, which I'll just make a, you know, I'll, I'll make a song and play a before and after so you can see what I'm talking about. What you what you'll find is that something simple now sounds a lot much better, a lot much more cohesive, a lot much more glue. There's a lot of little elements in there that, uh, uh, encourages that sound so the, the sound that you're getting and the sound that you're hearing is really due to the basically the uh, I guess you could say the strategic use of these uh, plugins and things like that you know we got the um, you know we got the glue doing its magic we got the uh, tape doing its thing we got of course the limiter the big dog big dog blast limiter and then we got the pull tech, the infamous pull tech for its sweet, soothing, very curvilicious sound, right? So we got a lot of bite and a lot of bark. And then we got um, the different, uh, you know, sources that we use for the for the drum kicks. You know, we got the hard limiter so we can bring out the punch and the and the knock. And then we added even a little bit more tighter, more refined, fine tuned punch and knock. And then, of course, we got it rounded out by a tube tech where the tube is, um, you know, or should I say the tubes is used as the the controller of the way the, you know, the algorithms inside of the machine work to add uh, certain sounds, certain tones, certain colors. So you automatically get like you don't just get like, you know, if, if I base, if I boost the bass, you ain't just getting just, you know, equal, uh, equal. Uh, or electrical bass, you know, impedance turned up, you're actually getting the tube saturation that, that adds to it. So it adds a, a, a soft distortion and, a, a, you know, a colorful, saturated grit version of bass. You know what I'm saying? Very subtle, though. Same thing with the mids, the same thing with the highs when you're using a tube tech. That's the reason why tube tech is one of the go-to um, things if you... You know, if you polished and you professional like that, you already know what that does to your sound. So, um, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna end this session, but I'm going to play it before, and then I'm gonna play it after, so that you can see the difference. You're gonna actually appreciate uh, what you learned here today. Now, we could be here all day long, but I'm not gonna do that to you. Uh, actually, I I might either make a truncated version of this, very short. And encourage you to come over to today's beat.com or I just drop this one um, here for y'all, you know what I'm saying? Um, and let you guys benefit from the, the long version, or maybe do both. But um, I hope you benefited from this. I hope you learned something. Um, the importance of, of course, first, first and foremost, gang staging. Second of all, uh, uh, the tools that was used to make the, the kicks sound good, the snares snap and punch, the vocals. Um, nice and loud but buttery and smooth and um, and then overall the overall loudness the overall loudness and punchiness and and tightness of the entire mix so we took something basically mediocre this is a mediocre track with some silly little elements in it but it can compete with the big dogs as far as volume amplitude you know eq and things like that now um i've been listening to it for a while in my headphones so I would actually have to take off my headphones. <sighs> I was trying to avoid yarning for like an hour, man. Jeez, I'm just going to go ahead and yarn on y'all, man. I hope I ain't, I ain't made y'all none of y'all contagious to my yarn. But uh, I can't go to sleep no time soon. I got 
so many other tutorials to um, finish up. But anyway, um, I lost my train of thought. What was I saying? But what I am going to have to do is uh, listen to this on a loudspeaker. I'm going to have to turn it up, so I hope I don't disturb the neighbors. Make sure that um, the frequencies and things like that is right. And um, fine-tune it. Maybe knock off a little high. Maybe pull back a little bit on the drive. Um, make sure it's not, you know, too loud um, or pushing. Because I got the headphones on, so I can only hear so much. And then verify it. And then um, and then wrap this, this one up. But... I wanted to be able to show you how we can um, take something simple and plain and mix it good and make it better. All right. So I hope you benefited from this. Thank you for listening. Until the next time, I'll see you in a minute. I'll see you. In, I think it was an announcement I wanted to make. Contest coming soon. Contest coming soon. So stay tuned. Y'all see y'all are here. Y'all will see more about it. Y'all will hear more about it. And I guess that's it, fam. So thank you for watching. Talk to you in a minute. See you when I spin it. Peace.